This video will give you the formula, for efficiently boosting your DC wealth. The transition from DB to DC plan is a recent trend. As actuaries, to secure everyone's retirement payment in an aging society, I present here specific solution. A unique feature of the actuarial DC pension model is that, cash flows from contributions are generated during the period of funded investment. Normal portfolio theory does not take this into account. Based on this feature, this video provides flexible portfolio optimization. To that end, this video consists of the following three parts. After setting up the DC pension model, the optimization policy is presented, an actual simulation is performed. First, let's set up a DC pension model. The following two models are defined by the market. Risk-free asset P is a model for safe assets such as bonds and principal secured, and risky asset S is a model for risky assets with asset volatility, such as equities. B here is the Brownian motion. The model X for the amount of DC savings shall be determined by the following dynamics. That is, the fluctuation in assets is the sum of those, the contribution C per unit time DT, the return generated by the risky asset holding U at time T, and the return generated by the risk-free asset that is remaining portion not deposited in the risky asset. The amount of risky assets held U is called the controller. This is usually determined by the DC plan participant. In this video, we assume that, this is determined based on time T and the reserve amount X at that time, and we want to find the optimal one. The valuation function J is set for maximizing the average of the reserves at maturity and minimizing the variance of the reserves, through the risk preference gamma determined by the DC plan participant. The larger gamma is, the less weight is given to variance. Conventional mathematical models have used the well-known utility function as this J. The most distinctive feature of this model is the direct use of variance as this J. Our objective is to seek the optimal controller U of the investment strategy such that this J is maximized. Maximizing J would imply efficient investment, since it increases the average DC asset amount and reduces variance. The optimal solution is obtained by extending the following partial differential equation called the hamilton jacobi bellman equations. In this video, this equation's way is my result. My formula may be an innovative invention, for obtaining a sufficient retirement payment. We can find the optimal controller U that maximizes J, in finding the solution V. In solving this partial differential equation, we assume the form of the solution. This is a common approach in solving differential equations. Arising from the partial differential equation, each coefficient of the optimal U consists of ordinary differential equations. This optimal solution U is a function that depends on time T and the reserve amount X at that time, and is a tailor-made solution that tells the DC plan participant how much risky assets to hold, according to his reserve situation. Also, if U is given a bound, the optimal U is thus. This U is the real optimal solution in this video. For this, we will now run the simulation. Let's run a 30-year period simulation, using the solution we have obtained. We assume a 0.05% yield on the risk-free asset, a 3% yield on the risky asset, a 7% volatility on the risky asset, and a monthly contribution of $100. Three patterns of risk appetite gamma are prepared. First, we simulated the case in which the reserve fund performed as expected. The left side simulates the share of risky assets in DC pension reserves, and the right side shows the expected value of optimized DC pension reserves over time. When gamma equals 1, when gamma equals 2. When gamma equals 3. The results show that, for all gamma, gradually reducing the percentage of risky assets is optimal. It is often said that, risky asset holdings should be lowered gradually toward retirement. 
this recommendation was theoretically confirmed. Next, we sampled the final amount of reserves. The left side is the result of the optimization, and the right side is the case of continuing to hold only risky assets. When gamma equals 1. When gamma equals 2. When gamma equals 3. Comparing the left and right, it is clear that, the final amount of reserves is stable in all gamma. In other words, the shape of the distribution has clearly changed through optimization, and for each fixed gamma, successfully maximizing the mean, while minimizing the variance. I contrasted an optimal solution for the amount of risk assets to be held, that is TerraMate strategy. This formula supports the traditional argument that the amount of risky assets held should be reduced gradually. In the model setup for this video, we use the simplest market model, but we want to build a model that better fits the market. Then, using the theory, we'd like to develop an app for DC plan participant. It would recommend them percentages of assets to hold, run asset simulations, and it will make them rich even if they are ignorant of DC plans. For employees who usually work at office, a DC plan is a heavy burden because investment risk is left to the employee. I'd be very happy if this formula can alleviate the burden on such employees and lead to a stable retirement payment for those who have contributed to society. Then this formula will build a better tomorrow. Thank you for watching.